Hello students, in this video we are going to start with a new topic and we finished the video lectures for reflection. Students till now we have studied that light travels in a straight line and in a transparent medium or in a one medium it bounces back into the same medium. This bouncing back we have studied that this bouncing back phenomena is known as reflection. But what happens when the light travels from one transparent medium to an another transparent medium? Of course, all these substances or all the surfaces cannot be like mirror or cannot be opaque object where the reflection only takes place. There are other phenomena of light other than reflection. Today we are going to deal with one of the such phenomena other than reflection. But before we come to that particular topic, you have to focus on two things. First, we will be dealing about two different mediums. Here in the previous uh, video lectures till now we studied about reflection, there you have studied that we discuss about only one medium, light comes, strikes on a surface and it bounces back into the same medium. But here in this new phenomena we will be talking about two different mediums. And second you have to keep this in mind that the medium should be transparent or it should be partially transparent. Otherwise the light is not going to penetrate through it. So we are not discussing opaque or any object by which light cannot penetrate through it. Okay. Before we come to that particular topic, let us see an activity. Students, I have two beaker with me. One of the beaker is completely empty. So there is no liquid, nothing filled inside this tumbler or in the inside this beaker. The second one is filled with water up to certain level. I have a pencil which is red in color. I have chosen this color so that you can easily see the demonstration. Now look carefully when I am going to take this pencil and I am going to immerse it inside this first beaker. So when I immerse it can you see there is a change in dimension? If there is any change in the dimension can you see that? No. The pencil whatever its dimensions uh, is above the beaker and below the beaker inside the beaker also it has the same dimension that means there is no change in the diameter it does not appear to be thick. Does it appear to be thick or thin at some area at some area inside this? No. But now the same pencil if it is taken and it is immersed inside the beaker. Now you see there is a change in the dimension you will be able to see there is a change in the dimension. The beaker the pencil appears to be wider in the bottom area whereas the pencil appears to be thin at the upper surface. Now this area where the water and the air they meets this area is known as interface. So at the interface you will be able to see there is a change in the dimension. Now if this pencil is kept obliquely earlier I have kept the pencil straight that is perpendicular. Now if this pencil is kept obliquely you will be able to see there is a change in the direction of this pencil. It appears to be slightly bent here. This bent portion that you see at the interface this is what we are going to study today. This will be our new topic in ray optics and in this we are going to study the cause of this bending. What does these observation indicate? Students, these observation indicate that light does not travel in the same direction in all media. Of course, till now we have studied about only one medium 
But now we are discussing about two medium and what are these two medium? The first medium is the air just above the water surface and the other medium is the water surface itself. Now let us see what is the reason behind this phenomena. So this phenomena is known as refraction and this is the definition written on the board. When light travels obliquely from one medium to another, it bends at the interface of the two medium. This bending phenomenon of light is called refraction. Students you can see there are few words which I have underlined that is obliquely, one medium to another and bending. These three are the key words. Light will only bend when it is coming obliquely. The condition is that it has to pass from one medium to another and therefore it will bend. There is a ray diagram drawn here. There you can see one of the ray diagram is depicting the beaker and the pencils that we have just seen. And the second one is the actual ray diagram drawn for refraction. You can see here there are two mediums, medium 1 and medium 2. Normal is drawn, the demarcation line between medium 1 and medium 2 is interface. We have incident ray and refracted ray also. Again, arrows marking are very important. And in the diagram you can see that the ray we have not shown they are bouncing back because that was the phenomena that we have read in the last topic. And in this topic, we will be dealing that the light is penetrating inside the second medium, but as, as it enters in the second medium, you can see it bends and it is coming closer toward the normal. So this phenomena is known as refraction. In the further video, we will be studying about this bending phenomena, whether it will be bending always toward the normal or away from the normal and the different types of medium. Till then, learn the definition. Thank you.